get that into your head that you're unstoppable. And it really helps also to build that self-confidence. Oh, I love that. And I hear you in the interview, constantly quoting different teachers, you know, Liz Brown, Brian Tracy. Um, so I want to know, like on your journey, how important has community been for you? Community is so crucial for me and relationships that it really is foundational in my business. So I have, I, I've counted on so many people to help me across the years. And in return, you know, of course I am giving back, but you will find that there are people out there that want to help you, that want to mentor you, but you have to be real willing to reach out to them. So just to give you an example, there's a lady, her name is Sonia Riccardi that I wanted to, Riccardi, that I wanted to really reach out to. So what do I do? I buy Sonia's book. I pay attention on, you know, the different things that she does. I compliment her on social media, take a picture of myself and her book and tag her. Now, Sonia sent me a message saying, Hey, we need to chat. And that's how the relationship begins. Like, those people that you want to be connected with. John Tallarico teaches this the best. I know you've had him on your summit as well, Candace, right? Those people that you want to reach out to, you have to take some movement in order to reach those people and to get some mentors into your life. Ryan Tracy um, does a room on Clubhouse. His club is called the Thought Leaders Club. And he wanted someone to moderate the room. So of course I raised my hand. I'm like, I will moderate the room. And people will ask me, they're like, why are you moderating a room? You're a millionaire. You've got a million dollar business. And I'm like, because I'm building a relationship with Brian Tracy, he needed a moderator. It's something I know that I can do well. And guess what it's helped to do? build a relationship with him and his team. So look at opportunities of how you can help other people and never think that you're too good to help someone who, you know, in helping them, it can definitely build a relationship. That is so brilliant. And I love the fact that you described how you gained these relationships that you gave first, you gave from a place of wanting to not simply from a place of what can this person give me because I think sometimes that's where people run into obstacles right Alicia where they'll come to you and they'll dm you and they're like Alicia I need your help please just mean to me I can't afford you or I can't do this but they're not really doing anything that indicates that they either you know they've followed your work they've applied any of your principles so it makes it harder for you to be like yes you're so right <laughs> You're so right. You know, I had somebody yesterday that reached out to me and when he reached out to me, he said, Alicia, I really love, he sent me a message on Facebook. I really love all that you've done. You know, I see your course here. I left a review. I commented on Facebook about you here and sent me links to everything. And he's like, but I, but I have one question in my life that I'd really like to ask you. Is it okay if I ask you? What do you think my response was? I was like, yes, ask away. You want to get on a call? What question do you have? So, you know, he understood how to reach out to someone, how to give first. And then of course the doors are open and I'm like, let's have a talk. What can I do to help you? I love that. Is that a skill set you learned or is that the way you've naturally been? Um, so my mom is from South America. She's Guyanese and she's one of 12 children, but it's something that we grew up seeing her do. My mom is a total giver. She will give anything to anyone. It's me and my sister laugh about it all the time um, because she often will give away our things. That, so don't leave anything in my mom's house because it will be given away to someone else who needs it more than we do. So we, we really learned that from our mom. And it's interesting that, you know, if you ask your parents and your relatives about their life and their history, and you start to listen, you can pick up on some things in your family tree that you can pull on and build on and, and find strength in my grandfather, my mother's father owned a store in Guyana. And, um, 
he owned a little store and there were, it's on a corner and there were four stores. So he is one of four on the corner. And, and we grew up hearing the stories about the store, but one story that never left me was his bonus story. So he didn't even know that he was giving out, you know, a bonus, how us marketers define it now. But when he would sell sugar or flour, he would put a piece of silverware in it. And it was a beautiful piece of silverware in a set. So when you bought it in the month of February, you get a spoon. In the month of March, you get a fork. And he would just keep doing this. And so he would always have the most amount of people in his store because he was giving a bonus to these, you know, to the ladies, they were talking a long time ago, but to the ladies who went into that store, they wanted the free bonus. And he was the only one offering a free bonus when you bought your sugar or your flour. And so in our, my mom told us that story growing up and I would always ask her about the story. And so every time we do something in our business, me and my sister were in business together. There's always a bonus. There's always a sterling silver spoon in the bag of flour. That is such a brilliant story. And it's also such a great analogy, right, for life and for, you know, if you want people to support you, I think it's when people see that you actually care, right, because you're giving bonuses because you care, you're not giving bonuses because you're like, I want everyone to be here. You're saying, right. because I want to give you more, I want to let you leave feeling like you've got just a little bit more, which I absolutely love. And so as you move through business, are there any things that you still experience or challenges you still face that still surprise you today? Oh, gosh, of course, we face challenges each and every day in business. I mean, from customers who are so hard to deal with, (laughs) everybody will have them. My students that build their business, they're always surprised when they get a problem customer. I'm like, that is called business. You will always get a problem customer. Fire them as quick as you can. 